Yeah, so we're making each other read jokes live on air that the other person has never seen before. <laughs> Oh, God. Nigeria's President Mohamedou Buhari for the first time denied months old rumors that he had died and been replaced by a lookalike from Sudan. See, even Africans can't tell black people. <laughs> the Palm Beach mansion, once owned by Jeffrey Epstein, will soon be demolished. And I'm honestly shocked that they would demolish a place where I have so many fond memories. <laughs> Rest in power, King. <laughs> I'll take it from you. I'll take <laughs> Many doctors are saying that they have a hard time convincing their black patients to agree to take the COVID vaccine. Well, maybe they should try telling them it makes you immune from paying child support. <laughs> Whoa. That's pretty racist, Colin. I want to switch it up a little. Che didn't write this one. This is all me. <laughs> I want to hear this. Last week was National Rosa Parks Day, or as we call it in my house, Uppity Bus Passenger Day. <laughs> This week marks the 65th anniversary of Rosa Parks refusing to give up her seat on an Alabama bus. And I just wish that all black people could follow her example of sitting down and shutting up. <laughs> oh. It was revealed that the sequel to the movie Hocus Pocus <laughs> is in the works for Disney Plus, which by judging, <laughs> which judging by this picture is a movie about every white woman I've ever slept with. <laughs> cool. Well, yeah, that's fine. It was, oh, God. It was announced that Creed singer Scott Staff will play Frank Sinatra in an upcoming movie. But the good news is Sammy Davis Jr. will be played by Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> A new, study <laughs> a new study shows that the average American touches their mobile device more than 2,000 times a day. Only 2,000 times, said my penis. <laughs> hmm. okay. uh, a church in Massachusetts has created a nativity scene that comments on the immigration debate by placing the baby Jesus in a cage where he belongs. <laughs> shows that Hurricane Florence was the wettest in history. The previous record for wetness was set on the opening night of Magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Spacey, hold for applause, Kevin Spacey made his first oh. public speaking appearance in five years where he thanked Italy's National Cinema Museum for having the balls to invite him. He also asked, could I touch the balls? <laughs> I'm kidding. He didn't ask permission. <laughs> it was reported that last year the population of China declined by 850,000 people, thanks to an increase in China's leading cause of death, protesting. <laughs> China plans <laughs> to reverse the population decline with an emergency import of Nick Cannon. <laughs> A substitute teacher in North Carolina has resigned after she reportedly told a class of elementary students that Martin Luther King Jr. killed himself. In her defense, he is the one who decided to keep running his mouth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Tennis star Andy Murray was upset after an umpire at the Australian Open refused to let him take a bathroom break during a five-set long match. Worse, it was Deuce. <laughs> A Catholic nun in France who was believed to be the oldest person in the world has died at the age of 118. Her cause of death was listed as answered prayer. <laughs> the U.S. Department of the Interior has changed the name of Squaw Valley, California because it is considered a derogatory term for Native American women. Okay, I don't understand how that name gets changed, and yet no one cares there's an entire town in New York that mocks my people. <laughs> a 
new study finds that frogs in the rainforest have a higher pitch call than urban frogs. The study also finds that female frogs be shopping. <laughs> I stand by that joke. <laughs> Due to a computer error, a school in Massachusetts has been unable to turn off its lights for over a year and a half. The students are doing fine, but the classroom hamster has gone insane. A San Francisco panel studying reparations is proposing giving every black resident a one-time payment of $5 million. Well, that's a fantastic idea, said the Gucci store. <laughs> The location of Sex Island, which is a four-day drug-fueled event featuring prostitutes and an exclusive resort, has been revealed to be an island off the coast of Trinidad and Tobago. This according to the plane ticket I saw in Shay's hand. See you there. The CDC is warning people to not eat raw cookie dough because it may contain germs that can cause severe diarrhea. But on the bright side, you can eat cookie dough without ever gaining weight. In and out. <laughs> it was reported that the Boy Scouts of America are considering filing for bankruptcy in the face of declining membership. Yeah, apparently there's some problem with their business model of hoping parents will pay adult strangers to take their children deep into the woods. <laughs> it was announced that the Broadway musical Avenue Q about raunchy puppets will close in the spring after 15 years. But if you still want to go see raunchy puppets, just head to Times Square and watch Elmo kicking pigeon. <laughs> Inflation rate in the U.S. reached 8.5% in March. To cover the higher prices, millions of families have been forced to take out a second OnlyFans account. Google Earth has released... <laughs> Google Earth has released a new feature that allows people to see a time lapse of how their neighborhood has changed over the last 40 years. Don't remind me, said my grandpa. <laughs> Video was posted of a police officer in San Francisco pulling over a driverless car, then the car driving away after the officer saw no one was behind the wheel. Even more amazing, he still managed to shoot an unarmed black guy. <laughs> Firefighters in Texas saved more than 100 snakes, including, <laughs> including pythons and boa constrictors, from a burning home, said the homeowner. Cool, so where's my wife? <laughs> The World Health Organization is changing the name of monkeypox to mpox due to concerns that the original could be considered racist, which I didn't even really think was an issue, but now I'm just wondering, what's the N in N95? <laughs> A zoo in Atlanta will allow visitors to carry firearms. So you want to try laughing at me again, monkeys? <laughs> What happened to you, man? <laughs> After this year's elections, a record-setting 12 states will have female governors. <laughs> while, while the other 38 states will have dinner ready on time. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Announced that his word of the year is gaslighting. Gaslighting, if you don't know, is a word my ex made up to magically win arguments that she was losing. <laughs> the Senate passed the Respect for Marriage Act, which solidifies federal protections for interracial marriages. Okay, but if I marry a white lady, who's gonna protect me from my mother? <laughs> Tensions are on the rise after North Korea launched more than 20 missiles into the ocean, and all because the Little Mermaid is black. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> Tomorrow is the New York City Marathon, or as <laughs> New York City Marathon, or as Fox News will report it, undocumented Africans run wild in streets of New York. <laughs> <laughs> 